Hello and welcome back to Minecraft and Survival episode... I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Episode 11, I think. <laughs> Anyways, you know. Welcome back to the series. In the last episode, we did a bunch of incredible discoveries. We found this amazing biome with these amazing crystals right here. With this amazing water with fish spawning inside of it. Um, I don't know if we actually get anything from, can get anything from these jellyfish. Oh, we can't. Wait, hold up. We actually do. Gelatine. Which I can use to make what exactly? Ooh, berry jelly. Okay, that's very good. That's very good. We also have a big slime here. Hello. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get a little bit of um, end fish here because all I have right now is berries and that is not exactly uh, sufficient. <laughs> it's not good enough. And I need to be careful not to die because um, that slime seems to be very good around water, which I do not appreciate. But I'm gonna definitely take these fish right here. Alright, eight fish, that should be good enough, but we found these crystals in the last episode, which... Okay, gotta remember that I am in the end. I gotta remember I'm in the end. Uh, constant danger. Yeah. Also, someone said that I should have taken the crystals in the cave, but... I'm pretty sure I did. But maybe it's these? Oh, what do we have here? Hmm. I'm confused. Someone in the comments in the last video, by the way, these blocks are cool. I did I didn't see these last time. Said that the crystals could be used to make powerful armor. I assume they meant these crystals, but I might have missed some other sort of crystal. Maybe? Potentially? I'm confused. Could it be these crystals? I don't think you can make armor with these crystals. Well, yeah, in the infusion pedestal you can. Terminite? I, I can get Terminite. How do we get an infusion? Okay, obsidian. And uh, someone pointed out actually we can get obsidian from the um, from the end ship. So when we find one of those, which I believe we have down here, I believe this is an end ship right here. Then we can actually make that, and that should I believe be one of the most powerful sets of armor in the game. I'm not 100% sure. Like if we compare the chest plate here. Yep, that's. That looks pretty cool to me. <laughs> All right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just stacking up a little bit on food. Um, this is the base, by the way. This is where we will be building our new uh, our new home, our new base. I want it to be here. And I feel like it fits very well in between like all these trees right here. Um, and then we can make a path down to the water to get more fish. We have the slimes down there, of course. And we are right next to a huge crystal biome in that direction and that direction as well. I'm gonna put that in there, uh, gonna take that, and also I really hope you can actually hear it, but I currently have a fan running in the background, and that's because it's been extremely hot the last couple of days, and I have to sit in here, record these videos with my door closed and my window closed as well, so it gets quite hot. <laughs> Not enjoyable, but um, that, that's, what I, that's what I have to go through. Um, anyways, I want to today quickly explore this uh, pink biome over here. There's also some structure, but I don't think we'll get to that today. Um, I want to explore this pink biome over here if I possibly can, if I can get over there. Um, because, yeah, it looks pretty. I don't think I'm going to make my base over there, but I want to check it out. I definitely want to check it out and see what that is. Um, also, got to be careful not to die. Because, yeah, dying would be quite bad at this point in time. Also, I believe someone mentioned in the comments in the last video that apparently at like the orange biome, I don't remember what it's called, um, there is some sort of new food type, I believe. Some orange roots or something. Um, if we go back there, I'll be sure to look for that. So thank you for all your feedback and comments. It is greatly appreciated and it helps a lot. But anyways, other than just exploring this, uh, this biome over here, the purple biome, I want to Go back to the tower. Well, I want to actually go back home, get stuff from my home, then move it to the tower and then get stuff from the tower or to this new place and just make a starter base. I don't want to make anything fancy as of right now um, because we have to move and everything. So I don't think we'll have. Or, well, I know we won't have time for that, but I do want to make something to begin with at the very least to get us started. All right. 
what is this tree called? Tenanea. Okay. Tenanea bark. You know, I kind of want to see what color this has. Ooh, that's cool. I would have liked that to be a little bit brighter purple. Not purple, pink, sorry. A little bit brighter pink, that would have been excellent, I think. But look at that. That does look pretty cool. All right, let's see if I can get up here somehow. The ambience here is absolutely cool as well. What's this? Blossom berry seed. <gasps> Even more berries. Even more berries. These are more berries. Oh, do give me more. Please give me more. I need more of these. I need more of these. One of my objectives very soon is going to be to get Silk Touch. If I get Silk Touch on a uh, on a pickaxe, I can actually get the soil or the moss here, which means I can then grow berries from different biomes at my home, which is going to be super crucial. Glowing bulb. Oh, those can be used to make lamps. That's so cool. Bulb vine seed. I'm gonna take a few of those. What are you? Silk moth. You look amazing. Hey, buddy. Okay, okay. Stay focused. Stay focused. Check out the... Well, I am checking out the pink biome. What am I talking about? I want to see how it looks. Like if I were to maybe climb some of these hills over here. If I possibly can without dying. Somehow. Maybe. I'm at the top. And the, the view is absolutely stunning. Look at this. <laughs> Wait, what's that? That looks different. But it looks like an orange version of this. Oh, it is. It's a whole other biome. I don't think, unfortunately, I can reach it, though. Because I'll need to make some bridges and whatnot. Dang it. But that, that looks sick. I think that is uh, that's a project for another... Um, yeah, that's the ruin thing we saw. That's a fountain. Yeah, take it, further exploring this area is definitely going to be a thing for another time. For a future episode, I think. Because this place looks absolutely amazing. Absolutely stunning. Um, okay, I want to be careful that I don't break the wrong thing and fall to my death. That would be so bad. Um, but yes, we have a bunch of stuff to do. This was definitely worth it, though. Um, yeah, these vines and these berries. Definitely worth it. So worth it. Um... Now, I think I need some of this wood right here, and I don't really want to take down any trees near my home. I think I might have to take down one of these trees right here. So many slimes, though. So many slimes. But yeah, taking down one of these trees might unfortunately be necessary for me to build. Um, plus, if I do it right... Well, not really if I do it right. When I do it, hopefully we'll get some saplings that we can then use as well. But I don't just want to use one wood type either, so I might take down one of the pink trees as well to get some pink in there. We'll see. We'll have to see. I'll start here anyway, and I'll be back once this tree is down. This might actually be tricky, because there's a bunch of branches, it seems, hidden in the tree. Like, look here. <laughs> so I need to be quite thorough when actually chopping this down. But we are getting a lot of wood, which is really good. Both for when we go out adventuring and also at this point, which would the main reason why we're doing this for materials for building. Okay, I think I have taken as much of the logs as I could see anyway, though I have no idea if I actually got all of them. I have four saplings right here, so I can bring those with me back. Um, I don't know if I just need one sapling for this thing to grow or if it needs... All four, like a dark oak tree does. Um, but we certainly have a bunch of wood that should help us in building our house. So this is perfect. About time I got done with that, because my axe is just about to break. Uh, I think it is slowly. I probably have missed some branches here and there. There's probably one in here. But I have eight uh, saplings, so I think I'm going to place down four. I'm going to assume that they require four, like a dark oak, just because of their size. I'm going to guess that's what the developers have put it to. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to go back now. I'm going to make a little bit of a starter home. We're going to make a little bit of a starter home. Then I'm going to head back 
I'm gonna start collecting my stuff from our starter base and the tower. Though I don't know how far we'll actually get because apparently we're already 10 minutes into the video. Um, and, and yeah, I, I don't know how that is, but okay. <laughs> we're gonna see how much we actually get done. Just ran into this uh, this end ship here, or crashed end ship I should say rather. Thought I might as well give it a little bit of a look. Probably not gonna contain many things other than potentially a... It should have an ender chest, which I actually really desperately need. Um, if I can find it. We do have bookshelves here, so I am actually going to take a few of those. I will take the endstone lantern actually. I'll take a few of those. I think it might be buried down here. And my axe broke. Not good. <laughs> I need a new one. I just realized what I could actually do. I don't know if I like it, but I could do it. I could put everything of fair value, well, everything in my inventory in some of these uh, storage, and I could let myself die, which would then make me respawn back at my original home. Meaning I could make the wait where where's our home uh oh wow i have to travel so far right i would be able to respawn here go over to the outpost go over to here and then end up back here issue is i wouldn't have any food but i think i would burn out a food pretty easily anyway um i would have to cut back through here i think i have a few supplies back at home I'm gonna think about that. I'm gonna have to think about that. But let me first start emptying my inventory here because um, yeah, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need space to do this. <laughs> right. So I'm gonna get started here. I am thinking not too big. I'm thinking maybe put it on put it on um, pillars basically. Put it on pillars. We will then add a staircase up and then we can start the house. So I'm thinking maybe going. One, two, three, right here. I have a staircase starting here that will then, with a path, lead down here somehow. And then potentially through this back there, maybe a back door as well. And then if we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is maybe a good size? Yeah, I think that's a pretty good size. We can have another, maybe, way down here into these caves, maybe? And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We could. We could. 11. We could have 10 in between them. And basically make it part of this. Maybe either part of this. Or we can make like something around this. I think we're going to incorporate it. So I'm just going to go that one up. And then... Another pillar right here. Like that. Okay. I think this could work. And if I then go ahead and make some slabs. Oh, I didn't bring any pink wood either. <laughs> I did kind of want to add some other wood types as well. Then again, I guess we will be making other structures as well in the future. I'm just thinking what's the best way to do this. Also, using a wooden axe for this is going to be absolutely painful, but I'm going to have to deal with it anyway. Yeah, I think something like this. Though, I'm just thinking now. No, I think this is good. Again, this is just a starter thing. We can always expand it in the future. I just want to connect these things up as best as I can. All right, so far so good. So I'm thinking if I have... A staircase right here, maybe starting here, slowly leading up to a platform here, like this, like that, and then I continue this platform with slabs, right, I think, all the way over here, then I add another pillar like so. And then I can put another pillar right here, like this, and do this. And then we have a little bit of a platform. And if I am actually smart, I remove these that will actually be shown on the top, like if we put some fence, and we add this here instead, like that. Yeah. 
I think I like this. This, I think, will continue going upwards, though. Because then I'm thinking we're going to add doorway here. So if I continue this up like three. And I think it will be a smart idea if we keep the, the height of the building, like, inside two and a half blocks. That way, uh, Endermen won't be able to spawn inside. Uh, I think that is a good idea. Now, I think I might want to expand this further up, so I'm not actually going to use stairs here. I think I'm just going to use normal blocks, and of course, we're not really going to use... Oh. Uh, I don't think we're just going to use basic torches. We're going to, like, do... Um... Whoa, hello. Scared me. <laughs> uh, we're going to use um, the lanterns and whatnot. Where did you go? Oh, hello. Yeah, goodbye, sir. I don't really know if I like this, though. It feels a little bit too too close to that. It feels very close to that wall. I will admit, it feels quite close to that wall. I think I might want to move this over. Uh, maybe by one. Nah, you know what? I think it's fine. I think this is... I think this is fine, actually. I think this will be fine. We can have a window here, maybe. Yeah, this is gonna be good. I think this is gonna be good. I think this will be good. I want fencing, but I actually want to use some other type of wood, aka pink wood, um, for like fences and doors and stuff, I think. Now, I just gotta put slabs in here as the flooring and the roof as well. And I don't know what to do with the walls, but we definitely bare minimum need it to be glass so we can't accidentally look out. <laughs> on an enderman and make uh, them mad so need to think of what to do there I don't have sand right now but I can bring some back with me from our very first starter base for now though I think we will just do this and then do possibly stairs and then glass panes I think because that way we can still look out um, I would like to have a higher roof, but again, I want to prevent Endermen from spawning. Um, I might not have to do that. Like, I might be fine without doing that, but I think it is also going to add something cool to the build, having it like this. Um, we'll see how it looks when I'm done here. Alright, how does that look? I don't think it looks too bad, and if we then convert these into stairs and do something like this... We can still see out. It's pretty good. I could also place stairs like alongside here. Um, I can try that. Yeah, that has pretty much the same effect and also gives it a little bit more room. Plus we can still put glass panes. So I think we're gonna do that. Again, I'm not sure if we're gonna keep the low roof. I kind of feel, eh, I do hit my head when I jump, which I really do not like. So guys, let me know down below in the comments right now. Low roof to prevent Endermen from teleporting in. Or do we go high roof and go at least a block higher? Let me know down below in the comments right now. Because I can always change it. So do let me know your opinion down below in the comments. For me, I feel like this might be a little bit too, too tight for my taste. Either way, I think I might actually replace eventually the stairs with maybe some other colored uh, wood. Just to make it look a little bit nicer. I think that could be a good idea to potentially do in the future. And maybe make some sort of pattern on the, gro on the floor. Because right now, everything is looking very much the same. And I don't really like it. Then again, I haven't really added any like furniture or anything. Which we will be adding eventually. So... Yeah, this is still a project in development, of course. Now, here's something I can also do. Because we're here, I can take these stone and I can use those for slabs. I can even make bricks out of them as well. And I can make paths with them. Also, I can make myself a stone axe. That's going to be quite helpful. I'm actually surprised. There's no sand here. Like, there's no sand by this water at all. That's interesting. You can do something like that with these bricks. It's not too bad. 
maybe with then some modifications, but it is doable. Rate this down below in the comments. I don't know if I like it or not. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know yet. I don't know if I like it. All right, guys, I think this will be it for the setup. base. Let me know again what you think about the low roof. I think I might raise it up one, uh, but let me know your thoughts down below in the comments as well as this. Um, and yeah, I think we can maybe have a small storage under here, mainly for like large quantities of stone types and whatnot. The very cool thing about here is when we get a staircase down, I do believe that these uh, end fish, they actually keep spawning. So that's going to be very nice as well. Um, now I am considering, since this episode is about 20 minutes long, what to do. <laughs> Do I go back on foot and then all the way back again, or do I kill myself and then take everything from my base and move it over? That could be for an interesting, at least half an episode, moving stuff over. Yeah, you know what guys, I actually think I'm going to cut it here. I really hope you have enjoyed, if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe of course. Um, and then in the next episode we will move the items, because if, um, if I am deciding to move this up, I will look at you guys' comments for that, and then I can do that off-camera before I leave. Um, yeah, I think that's a good idea. So I'm gonna end it here. Really hope you have enjoyed this one, and I hope to see you in the next one, where we will be moving our items and potentially setting up our anvil and stuff, and maybe finally being able to craft this end for dummies guide. But anyways, hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye.